Hello, this is Mr. Bacon Bits, and welcome back to Xenoblade Definitive Edition. Last part, we found Tyrea and helped her out a little bit. Did that, uh, and it was an optional side quest. But it was necessary for the story ahead. It may not be immediately obvious in the main game, but it will be later on. As a reward for doing that quest, though, Melia got herself a new staff. The Empress Staff, as you can see right here. It's actually unique and gave her another weapon skin. So that's cool. And it has... It is a unique. Gives her Electric plus 5, HP up 6, and Unbeatable 4. That is actually really damn good. I'm gonna put that on her. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, that maxes up her HP. Interesting. Um, let's see. Uh, no. Go here. I'm gonna go ahead. No, I don't want to swap gems. Let's do this. Just so that I don't lose. Remove all gems. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, well, I switched, I switched around her arts. That should be good right there. I mean, I switched around her gems. Anyway, we should now be fully prepared. So let's talk to Mikko and continue on. We're gonna take the fight to Zanza and his disciples. <laughs> We're ready to fly into the Bionis. Shall we head there now? Yes. Don't worry though, this part isn't a point of no return. I will let you know when it does come. It's the inside of the Bionis. It looks quite different from when we entered via the marsh. The Bionis is regaining its biological functions. Must be because Zanza woke it up. Then we find Zanza and stop him. We are now in the Bionis interior proper. And now that we're here, actually, I wanted to mention that Shulk's Replica Monado is not the only one you can use. In Junks, um, Venea now has a series of quests that involve you getting some materials from late-game enemies in order to design new Replica Monados to choose from. These can be accepted either here, at the Hidden Machina Village, or Colony 6. It's just they count as Colony 6 quests. It's just anywhere that the Junks can, is parked. Each replica looks slightly different and provides different attributes over the, over the default one. It might be worth trying to do, but some of the enemies require a lot of pre-prep. At any rate, let's continue on. There's another time attack portal there if you want to use it. And, uh, do not go into this really, really bright green ether. It's hazardous for your health. We stepped into the first lung. Remember when we, uh, noticed that the Bionis had three lungs? Yeah. Phoenix Telethia. There are not only Telethia here, but also really weird other enemies. But, uh, yeah. I'm gonna be fighting a lot because we need to get our levels up to at least near level 75. Just so that the boss ahead doesn't give us much trouble. 
Alright, there we go. But we cannot be reckless. There's another weird enemy there. It's gonna be kinda difficult to figure out which enemies are where. Yeah, let's get the yellow tag enemies. That'll make it faster to level up. And I'm noticing Ryan is taking a bit of a beating. Maybe his uh, physical defense isn't really that good. Or just defense in general. Alright, there's only one way to go. Let's head out here. To the main area. Damn, this place looks weird. <laughs> you look well, your highness. That voice... It's Lorathea! Show yourself! Look at that! The heart of the Bionis! The pulsating life of Lord Zanza! Quit your yapping and show yourself! I await your highness here. There is something I wish to show you. Your friends are welcome to join you. That is, if they survive. Lorithea, what are you planning? Forget her for now. We must push on to the heart. All right. Yep. Our objective is to head to the heart of the Bionis. It's kind of a winding track up there, but we must press forward. Over there, I believe, is a pathway to the heart to, to a heart to heart. Also, try not to fall down, because there's no way back up. You will have to die in order to get back up here. Is everybody ready? Let us hurry on. Making fairly quick work of these. Oh, just got an item. That's the last of the three flexible cellular cells. We'd better get them back to colony six. I believe that's actually a material that we need for Colony 6 Reconstruction. Uh... Nah. Okay. Might as well. Is everybody ready? Let me at him. I expect nothing short of our very best. I'm feeling pretty good. Lead the way for your own. Your energy is mine. Here we go, Larry. Would have been nice if you did toppled him, man. Try it again. Oh, shh. Okay, that was a bit of a bad idea. That was a bit of a bad idea. Okay, keep that in mind. Do not topple those big guys. Um, let's continue on. Now we can take any path going, as long as it's going east. We can take any of these pathways. Got a bunch more enemies here. 
gonna fight him again. Looks like we got someone to join the party. Oh no, sorry. Damn it. This is a slight bit of a predicament. Okay. Doesn't have soul rate anymore. You're almost down. Nice. Aw, oh, come on, Mir come on, Ryan. You almost got a level up. Ooh, what's this? We found the two black liver beans for Colony Six. This fucking item. Sorry for the language. This fucking item. I can't wait to see the happy looks on everyone's faces. No fucking shit. This is an extremely rare item. I cannot stress this enough. If you can somehow find three of these, you will be set. And extremely lucky. But you will be set. Because you need one for the Collectopedia, plus two of them for Colony 6 Reconstruction. If you can somehow find three of them, consider yourself lucky. But if you can't seem to get one, at least Definitive Edition offers an, an uh, alternative, which I will get into later. Okay, Ryan finally got a level up. Let's keep going. We need to head east and south. I probably took the long way, but it is what it is. Victorious Gross. I'm gonna avoid unique monsters, cause probably not very prepared to fight unique monsters. Alright, we're at the Venus Plexus. We are getting closer. You're not gonna put us to sleep again. Let's not lose our heads, though. Officer Robusto. I might actually want to go around. Yeah, I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go do that! Come on. Do it before I die, please. Were we too reckless? Shh. Sorry, I can't focus. <sighs> okay, well, I got back to where I wanted to anyway. Let's go this way. Take the upper path. I, um, I did that on purpose. I wanted to show you what happens if you're not paying attention while walking around up here. Gigas Telethia, huh? Let's fight this dude. Yeah, let's fight this dude. Oh, that's why, okay. 
Well, hopefully we can go through this without dying. There we are. We cannot be reckless. Let's not lose our heads, though. Yeah, so far so good. These these uh fights aren't really too challenging. I just have to make make sure that I'm watching my health and stuff. Come on, we can do it. Leave it to Ryan. Display no mercy. Oh, so much. Much. Now it's right time. Okay. Now we're getting started. Just gonna keep going. Gonna keep going. Terminal Nerve Tower. This is the way to the heart. We are getting very close. Ghostly Mahatos. Uh, yeah. Sayonara. Just gonna keep going this way. Through the aortic pathway. I'm gonna go ahead and take you down. Okay. <laughs> Let us remain vigilant. Who else wants some? Gonna take you guys on as well. Go. I'm not gonna skip this one. Pretty much new chip. Yeah, listen, I'm powering up. Your mind. Now it's right time. Yay! We will right. Let us remain vigilant. Are there any more enemies? I kinda want Fiora to, to get to level 71. It doesn't look like it. Alright. I'm gonna see what I have here. Skill trees. It looks like... Okay, Fiora learned... Strength of Will reduces ether damage taken. That's actually perfect right now. Uh... Yep. I think that'll be good. Heart entrance. Now that I have the landmark here, I'm gonna do something real quick. 
All right, I'm back over here. And I'm going to change my party so that I have Ricky. Because, uh... Prepare for some bullshit. I really recommend throwing some e debuff resist gems, aggro down, art seal resist on your supporting characters. Plus, equipping whoever you choose for your party with ether attacks will help a lot. Okay. This should be a battle well suited for Melia. And Ricky. And, uh, Fiora's just kind of here. But, let's face off against Disciple Orthea. Welcome to my world. I must say, I am surprised. Zanza's vessel truly does have a will of its own, and looking quite sprightly. I'm still alive. I won't die. Not yet. And that's why we're here. Everyone who lives in this world has a life. So, it shouldn't be threatened by anyone. We'll never give in to Zanza. Mmm, so full of passion. Well, if it's life you're looking for, I'll show you true life. <gasps> it's... G Gallion! Brother! There is no use in calling. It worked before, but now his transformation is complete. He is my adorable. Do you know the meaning of the word telepia? It means that which eliminates impure life. Impure life, just like you. That which Lord Zanza does not require shall be extinguished from this world. All right, Lorthea. Despite being a huge Telethia, you don't have to worry about Soul Reed. But she has Ether Laser, which can do Ether Defense down and Art Seal. Obliterate, which hits around her and causes Topple. Big Bang 6, Talent Art, which causes Confuse. So it might be good to guard against that. An Awakening Aura, and can remove debuffs. But the big gimmick to her fight... Well, one of two. Come on, come on, come on. Um, is that she can summon Novas to help her. The number of Novas directly correlates to how much physical defense she has. So you'll have to focus on taking those down. Just make sure that no more than two or three Novas are out and about, otherwise your physical damage will be severely limited. On the other hand, lower than two means she will have negative physical defense. Meaning you can do extra damage. Of course, you can always just have an ether-based party and ignore this gimmick altogether. Uh... Crap, what did you do that for? Come on. This attempt ain't doing so hot. Um. Uh, the other gimmick, though, is that she can move around. And that could mean she can push your party members into the pure ether. And they won't move off of it. Yeah, this boss battle is a bit of a thing.
I'm gonna try it again. Hopefully this will work. Enjoy this battle, for it will be your last. Your eternal I've almost got her. I've almost got her. Come on. You are dead. You will pay for your insolence. Apologize to you and to everyone because of our transformation into Telethia. I am a princess, but I brought misfortune upon the high end here. I, I. You are mistaken, Melia. The Telethia gene lies dormant within us all. There was no escaping the cursed blood in our veins, sister. It was fate. That is why our father sought to dilute the bloodline. <laughs> you are the hope of the High Entia. You will not transform into a Telethia. Even after the Bionis has reawakened, you can still succeed the Imperial line. You have the power to end our suffering. Knowing this, both I and Father were happy to sacrifice ourselves. It was our choice. Brother... There is no need to fear. After all, this is precisely our wish. In the end, you are the only ones who can stop Zanza. Yes. Now, leave her to me. You must go. You must accompany Shulk. No! My Telethia! You! What have you done? I have done nothing. This is your destiny. Accept it with dignity! Ah, my body! No! I was promised immortality! Ah! Brother... Melia... At long last I can be with father. You must now live your own life. The path you forge, the future you choose. That is the hope of the High Entia. Thank you, brother. Your words will stay with me forever. His words? Oh, Ricky heard. Ricky heard Melly's brother. 
Callian uh, say, hope of bird people. Hmm. Where Melly's brother? Oh, Ricky not see him, but Ricky hear him. Ricky. You too heard his parting words. Thank you.